Okay, what? Why'd it get noisy all of a sudden? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Whoa! 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 Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Guys, good morning from Idaho. Yeah, I had a fantastic time with my sister Lori in the Boise area. We made the most of two days. That river, that float on the Boise River, kind of late in the seasons to still be floating the river, right? But it's been pretty warm around here. It's also still pretty hazy, as you can see through here, because the forest fire smoke and the air quality and stuff. But we hung out, we, we, we uh, went downtown, had burgers, all sorts of good foods, went on a bike ride. And, and you know, Boise and Idaho is really, really flat. It's a perfect area for, for bicycle riding. I really miss my bicycle. I really, really do. But I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet later. It's still working really well for me. We are going to be leaving Idaho in the next couple days. Yeah. And we're starting our day here in the small town of Hagerman, Hagelman, Hagerman, Idaho, the uh, sheep herding capital of the world. <laughs> now, when we were in Oregon, we saw the Cattle Drive Monument. This is so similar that it just makes me smile. You even got the puppy here. And look at all the sheep being herded to the cotton factory. Well, I don't know where they're going, but... <laughs> They're not turning into t-shirts, we're just trimming them and helping them and then turning their waist into t-shirts. Yeah, right. Or blankets or whatever. I, I don't know, I don't know. You guys are having a pretty good drive then? Everything's working out? No complaints from uh, John Wayne over there? You keeping them in line then? Oh, I appreciate it, man. These uh, wildfires, it's amazing how much the West is still under this constant hazy looking it's everywhere, guys, and it, it's affecting the entire West. Obviously, my videos are delayed. Many of you have figured that out. <laughs> but it's been weeks now since we've seen a clear blue sky, and it's, it's everywhere I go, every day now. And we've even got an old wagon. Look at them wagon wheels on a warm day in September. Eric, stop, stop. That's not my uh, Stewie impression, by the way. I think Camper Van Kevin really does the when. <laughs> Obviously, I'm totally exaggerating the whole thing, but Kevin does a lot of the the hard W's. So what are we going to do today? Um, I need to get fresh drinking water. I need to dump the tanks. I need to do some laundry, hopefully. So um, I know that sounds boring. We're, just gonna, we're still going to have some fun today. All right, I'm parked here in Wendell, Idaho, but don't worry because uh, I'm not quite done with the quirky. I am so happy. I'm so comfortable using my leveling jacks, but uh, this site on the other side of me, I get it all to myself. Not full hookups. I already dumped my tanks, but getting water and everything. I would have had to done this anyway at like a Flying J or something. Ten dollars to dump. Who knows where I was going to get water. This park here that I'm staying at is part of Passport America, which I haven't even talked about that much since being on the road. The 50% off club, it's 44 bucks a year. And this place cost me $16.50 for the night. <laughs> it's also going to be a warm night, so a warm day. It's going to be in the upper 90s. Again, even with the delay, I know you're like, it's not 90 right now. Well, it is for me. Anyway, my point is this is a beautiful park, guys. Right across from my RV, is a nice little pond that's currently not running, but uh, just feels so good. And uh, the sun is trying to peek through. It's just also really hazy. Now, uh, they gave me one of the larger pull-through sites there because I have two slides and I'm a class A, but this one would have worked. And when they cut down trees, they, they carve little animals here at the park. Which... Bunch of little bear cubs climbing up the tree stump. It's pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna mention a couple things that I find really neat about this place. For the price, it's an RV park, but the office also is an RV repair shop. So if you find yourself in Wendell, Idaho and need some repairs done, they are closed today, but usually they would be able to get you in and get you, and get you fixed, which is pretty unique. It's not just an RV park and an RV repair shop. They also sell RVs. Reminds me of Tilly. It's not actually a Tioga. But they have a few different types of RVs. Look at this old military looking one, like tab looking military. Uh-huh. It's still so hazy though. I'm gonna stand back here on the road so you can see their welcome sign. Intermountain RV Camp. I recommend it, guys. I really do. 
Now the entrance itself where they sell the RVs, yeah, we are really close to the highway here and it can be loud. Also look at that, 80 miles an hour. Yeah. But that's not what I want to show you. Because no matter what kind of traveler you are, if you're like me, you see a lot of muffler men around the country. These muffler men, I don't know if there's a map or database or where they all went to, but you know, back 30, 40 years ago, they had these fiberglass ones and they would all be holding the muffler. And I've shown quite a few on my channel. This one at the RV park is sensational. Do you see what he's holding? <laughs> Not a muffler. Nope, Wendell the muffler man is holding a RV sewer hose. <laughs> That is just so cool. Thank you guys for the smile. I need a muffler man for my house in Illinois. Quirky, quirky. I love it. I'll find one, I'll keep looking. The only reason the office is closed here. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Okay, there's a wire holding him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eric, quit doing dumb stuff. I'm only gonna do smart things for now on. I'll never ever do another stupid thing. Good night. Only reason the office is closed is because it's Sunday. Otherwise, you, they, they do repairs, they fill propane and everything. I don't need propane, so I'm good. All right, and lastly, I don't know why I've been holding off telling you this, but <laughs> when I went up to see JD, I had a little bit of a boo-boo. 100% my fault. Not that I wasn't paying attention, it's just the way I backed up, and then when I went, the bottom sunk into the ground a little bit, and Miranda has her first official boo-boo caused by me. Now, I'm just sharing this with you because I'm humble enough to say that even after doing this 10 years, we all make mistakes, man. Uh, yeah, I uh, cracked the fiberglass completely right there, really bad, and it pulled it out so far around the whole base that it actually came separated. I already pushed the screws back in, but this whole panel came out on this side and over here on this side. And I've already worked it. I've already pushed, tried to push them back in, but look at the gap. I'm, I'm sad about it. It also scuffed up the bottom of that. It drugged the motorcycle carrier a little bit. It was my oops, my doe moment of Miranda. Go! We've all done it. I don't, don't even start that with me, guys. Everyone watching this who has a car or an RV has done something stupid eventually with their RV. It'll never stay perfect, ever. Camper van Kevin putting the, the branch through it, Aja hitting the tree with the trailer. I'm just saying, we all have done it. Who cares? It's all good. It still looks fine. <laughs> So projects real quick, I'm gonna do some laundry. I am going to wash the RV, got permission to wash. It's, she's really, really dirty. You, you can't tell, cause it just looks blurry in the background, but believe me, Miranda's really dirty. So let's get her really clean. And then I wanna talk to you about another change of plans. Get back to you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna give these a shot. I do not know what to expect, but Walmart great value brand bacon cheeseburgers in the frozen section that you microwave. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to microwave it up and we're going to have a, have a little taste test here and see if I like it. Okay, just says to open one end of the plastic wrap, put it on a paper plate and microwave for 70 seconds. All right, it says to let stand for one minute after cooking it. If that's supposed to be bacon on there, that looks like that thin piece of like ham that you get on a Jimmy Dean sandwich. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I'll give it a shot here in a minute. Okay, Walmart frozen burger. <laughs> hmm, you know what? Hey, I like it. You wouldn't like it. I do. It does taste like a frozen burger, but not a bad frozen burger. It's just the bacon is kind of I don't know about the bacon. It tastes like bacon. It's just not real bacon, right? I don't think. Mm. Oh yeah, leave me alone with my burger. All right, guys, let's all laugh. Let's laugh hysterically. We're gonna talk about another failed LCI Lippert component on my RV. Not the power awning this time, not the leveling jacks this time, not the slide that won't come out anymore, but you guessed it, the steps. They finally went out again permanently yesterday. I already fixed them. We're not complaining. I'm showing you how I fixed them. 
because the stupid magnet piece that goes inside the door that tells these to open and close has been discontinued by Lippert LCI. Discontinued. You can no longer get parts for this stupid mechanical step. So I fixed it my way. Okay, I got rid of the magnet completely. I rewired up, it's gonna look really ugly, but I rewired it all the way up to the top inside here. See, and I put in a DC switch, which you can't even see right there. Let me lighten that up a little bit for you right there. There we go. See, I put in a little DC switch right here. Jax, don't you hop out, I'm gonna show them real quick. So I have complete 100% manual control of my steps. Nothing is automatic about it. Flip it back on, steps come out. So if there's like a curb there or something, I, excuse me, we, hang on. Bless his heart, Jax just keeps being bad and sneaking out. We're gonna go outside, but you can't just roam free. You can't do crazy things. Oh, quit being cute. I love ya. So the only other problem that I can, cause you remember these steps, they wouldn't go back in when I was driving. I forgot where I was even at. The only other thing that can go wrong with these LCI steps is the motor can go out and I'll have to get a used one somewhere. But I like the switch idea and having complete control. I know, I know, I am completely losing control of my bedroom. My, my bed is completely packed with Mickey stuff, but it's gonna be okay because eventually we're gonna get back to the house, we're gonna unload everything, set it all up, and everything is gonna be okay. For right now, <laughs> it's comical. I have about two thirds of my bed available to actually sleep on with Jax. Good thing it's just him, him and I, right? All right, so. Uh, while I'm folding, I want to share with you what's going on with my change of plans. Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico are all out. I have friends in Colorado and Utah and New Mexico who have all been talking with me and sharing with me what is going on there live right now. I don't care about next year when everything reopens. I care about what's going on right now. Uh, Colorado BLM still a no-go. Utah is still locked up like crazy. There's no point in trying to camp in Utah or bring an RV through Utah. And Four Corners Monument, which I still have never been to or filmed, is still closed to the public. So there's no reason to drive that route if I can't even go if the outdoor stuff is closed. So I had to make a change of plans as far as my route. I'm gonna do what I have to do to survive right now. There's no point in going places where everything is closed to the public, you know what I mean? I'm gonna spend one more day in Idaho and do something fun that I haven't done. And then we're gonna go south. Gonna go south. It can still be warm down south, but I have a plan. Oh my gosh, I have a plan. Really, Eric, you have a plan? Yes, I have a plan. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find a way to do it my way. I did it my way, or I'm gonna try to. Yeah, just enjoy the ride, guys. That's what I'm trying to do, right? Also, hmm. <laughs> No, never mind. Stay positive, Eric. Whatever is broken, we're gonna fix. That's how we do it, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna close this video out, but I wanted to mention part of the reason why I like the PA Passport America versus some other camping perk is because all of these ones that are involved, they're all friendly, small business, mom and pop, family run RV parks that wanna bring people in. They're so much better because you're not paying 55 to $75 a night for the, the pool and the hot tub and the playgrounds and all the stuff that you can't even use because it's closed for COVID. It's just a flat rate 1650 to park your RV and do exactly what you gotta do in an RV. Works perfect for me. I'm so happy with it, but. Anyway, obviously I still got a little bit of stuff to do here, so Jackson and I will see you in two days from a cool spot in Idaho, okay? Bye guys, be well.